You did that Pimp C, you know, when you said, you know, that's my biggest, I'm... Swear to God, I'm never minding you hoes. Pimp C, real good, get down on the floor. Flow. Baby, baby, grind on the floor. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm telling you. Well, yeah. one thing about it, if you want something, you got to you got to stay, you know, through the good times and the bad times. Yeah. You know, you, you can't, you can't, you, you, you signed up for this. We are together, nigga. Getting out of this. No, no. It's been I, 22 I, years now for yeah, me and us. Yeah. You ain't going, we, I ain't we, gotta we do locked nothing. in. You just better handle your business. Whoa, whoa, That's whoa. Look at you looking at me, man. Don't come on here and try to tell me what to do with yeah, yellow on there. there. I can play third. <laughs> <laughs> I can play third. <laughs> no, man. I, I like to say, I enjoy the music, man. Let me ask y'all this. So, how do y'all do? Here we go. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Who did us this shit? No, I feel it coming. Hold on. Let me let him ask Who the hell did this? Yeah, no, I mean, I want to know that because I always ask couples. I always ask couples, like, your answer gonna be different from other couples. It ain't no right answer. I just be wanna know, like, how... Because it's been 22 years. Yes, like, I know it's ups and downs in that shit. I'm not asking you what the ups and downs yeah. were, but how did y'all, like, get through y'all shit? How, what, how would y'all able to stay with each other so long? For me, it's, it's God. It's gonna always be God. He gonna say the same thing, too. Right. But when I say it's God, meaning that I know that before I met this man, I prayed for him. Mm. And when and the things that I asked God for, he was exactly what I prayed for. Right. So at the end of the day, no matter what ups and downs we go through, I know that he and I are a work in progress. Right. So there's never, he's not the only one who's always going to be wrong, or I'm not the only one who's going to always be wrong. The reason why we go through things so you, is so both of us. So you're the type that, 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 that take accountability. Yeah. Okay. Both of us. But I, but in the beginning. but On in the, the show. No, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, because you have to grow in a relationship. In the beginning of relationships, you know, you don't always take accountability right, to right, because right, you know right. both of y'all hot heads and whatever, whatever. Right. But it takes growth. I ain't gonna. I don't think it's not one woman who just gonna fully take a, accountability. You got way. it right, buddy. <laughs> like y'all gonna do it they to a certain not extent. Gonna say they yeah, were wrong. To a and then like think about what I learned about women, like y'all don't really just come. Like y'all apologies is not, baby. I'm sorry. Never. Ooh, it's the it just. So you want you want to go out to eat or something? Like, they try to get back on so the south side. Yeah, they go go they like, gonna do something so nice. Do I never apologize? No, I'm saying you probably do, it's but tough. it's not gonna be it coming. Like so it's happening all the time. Yeah. I'm saying like you might. I'm not saying you don't. What I'm saying is you probably one 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 out of ten incidents. You probably all gonna all apologize. Y'all all the same. Maybe two. The other ones, it's just like okay, I'm not mad. I'm tripping. I I collected my thoughts. Have I collected my thoughts? Now let me try to get back on the right page with him. And it's never just like I say, apologize like what the man wants. It's just might come over there, get up on you, snuggle up on you first day, may try to rub your feet up, wanna go out to eat, try to just talk soft and you know what, you wanna try something different? You wanna you, is it, you know that <laughs> just weird, but be the main one saying we don't communicate. I was oh, yeah, yeah. No, but it's communication why thing. it's usually a problem. It's right. usually the one thing I really just understand is throw it up against Women and men are totally different. And no matter how much we might want to explain something, men don't elaborate on stuff, period. Y'all just say what you say and that's it. Women, we want to elaborate. We want to understand. Nah, we want to get you. into your... You can get to a point where you elaborate. Mm-hmm. And when you elaborate, if that woman ain't trying to hear what you putting down, she not going to take it in that way. I'm telling you. If you not saying exactly what she want to hear at that moment, you can elaborate. You can be transparent. You can break it down. Hey, man, if that... Emotion is on my shoulder. That's just what it is, man. Best to just write a letter, man. Let yeah, it go, I mean, man. It just, you deal with how you do. You know your your significant yeah, other. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? My so, thing. I'm telling you now. My thing is just not letting the problem be bigger, bigger than, than your, 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 your relationship, than your, than your marriage. You know. Okay. And then the kids matter, man. Right. You right. know. You know the words say. Uh, 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 two is better than one for when one fall, the other can lift up and right. a threefold card is not easily broken. Right. So I think that's the key to it for me is just always knowing that you're a man and you got to stand on business when it comes to your family. Thanks. So that's more the way I look at it. Right. And right. then I biblically base it and stir it all up and I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. You feel yeah. Yeah. But I, I definitely came home a lot of late, too. What, Huh? And for the female, knowing that you are the head of the household and yeah. The, yeah. she needs to be submissive to you in a lot of different ways. Until... They get mad, and then you have to try to figure out how to get them back to submissive. It happens, bro. You've been in this. How long you been? Well, I ain't going to get into it. How long you been with, with your significant other? Uh, 
Nah, it's about eight. Eight. It'll be about yeah, eight. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long haul. But after five, they say it get easier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it get easier when y'all want it to get easier. I'm going to put it like That's that. That's it, man. You know, you're going to have your ups and downs. Ain't, you know, can't nobody be the blame of everything. So once, once you know you ain't just the blame of everything, I feel like you can get past a lot of shit. When people can hold themselves accountable, and like you say, understand, you know, hey man, I hurt you, hurt me. Okay, put the in the past. Let's not dwell yeah. on it and keep on being attached to it. That's you know it. Saying? Don't bring it back up. Yeah. But at the same time, if it's something that's that needs to be dealt with and Earn actually out. have, yeah, listen. yeah, actually, because that's the reason why some people keep repeating the same thing over and over. You gotta let you, with a woman, you gotta let them out. You gotta let let her vent, let it, let her get that shit out, and then tell her, okay, I will let you get out. Boom, we gonna talk. Woo, woo. Shit, let that be in the past, but in le- until they get that shit out, ain't gonna harbor whatever it is over forever and, and ever. work on it. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to the music. Y'all, y'all going in. Too much. <laughs> but, man, like when I see you interview, like when I was seeing you go. Of course, you've been doing this forever, so I seen you on the breakfast for Boss Talk. I already right. seen you interviewing and stuff. But what? Why? You, you, you want them celebrity type dudes? So why? And I'm I'm serious now. It hasn't got down to the interview part. Why do y'all go up to these other places before y'all check in down here at home when it comes to interviews? Now I'm not gonna say you more so because you ain't been doing that's what I value than you. You ain't do nothing with nobody. So I'm cooler than with that than that I know that I seen them and no these don't even think about it. I seen them when they would leave and go, you know, different places to these other platforms and other cities outside of their own city. Uh it's two things. It's two things. You asking why I did it, or you asking why I artists? Wanna, do it? I think about why artists do it. Yeah, it's a both thing because you, both. like I said, me, I kind of understood me, yours because all this where your traffic yeah, was. Yeah, me you know? personally, it was on. I had fell out with a lot of the uh, what's called because the the book they were promoting or just kept on while I was on my way up, and I felt like if y'all say y'all want Dallas to win or woo woo, woo or if y'all want somebody in the city to you know bring it back, whatever, y'all see what type of. Sh- got going on but still y'all putting that shit is gonna turn me down you get what i'm saying like y'all trying to turn me down so it's like I, why i want to sit with y'all y'all help y'all helping mother trying to turn me down so that's what it was with me for artists you always got to do your city in out of like if you want to come up like blogs that's on from a different city because you want to get that they fan base i, I always tell artists on to come up too like go and collab with other artists that's popping in another city so you can gain their fan, ba- fan base. The thing, the key too is to like to get outside your city. Your city gonna support your day regardless. You get what I'm saying? Like, is it like you won't be on the back, you know, for sure, for sure. But you gotta get outside your city. When you start getting outside your city, that's when you're gonna really make it. I, yeah, I, I agree with you because what I did was my strategy was okay, these ain't gonna come over here. I'm going everywhere else and deal with everybody. And that's what I kind of did yeah. with Boss Talk. I took it all. But you I, did I, Dallas first. You did some I did. of Dallas I killed first. it in Dallas. I did Dallas first, but I just was like, okay, so they ain't, okay, I'm gonna go over but here. Then it, and I started going but everywhere even, and, I, but and they showed me love. Even with you, they probably weren't gonna do it. If you want popping or whatever it was at that time, they weren't gonna try, they weren't gonna take you serious. So a lot of times you gotta go at, what you did, go outside the city and see, have them see that you got this motherfucker, this motherfucker, and then that's when they want to come yeah, back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same for the artist. And then I'm bipolar, so it probably you, you, won't happen. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> Your mind, you, you will always be like, man, you really kind of... But, then, <laughs> but that's but but you you can't let that shit get in your family. No, you can't. I mean, you still got to do your thing. This, yeah. this is what you do. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you can you can, you can can be like, yeah, he you know me at the end of the day, but, you know, it's cool. But, let but, me still run it up out these views, though. No, yeah, <laughs> I really, like I said, my main thing is to make sure that... This this Texas thing in the South period is respected, man, on the level where our talent is, where people will recognize us and remember what we're doing down here. Because a lot of times when you do run here or there, you you get caught in a sauce, but at the end of the day, do it really stick. You know what I'm saying? We got to build this stuff from the bottom up to me to make everybody understand the respect. You're going to get your point across to who you gonna, who is needed to get your point across to. Basically, you're going to have those viral moments or collab with, with, with whoever you're going to collab with in a sense, like what I'm trying to say is like basically that sh- means something to me that means something. So of course, like you say, I rep Texas, you rep Texas. So when you want to have that conversation, it's always going to be impactful because that's what we own. You get what I'm saying to a n- don't give a f- just by Texas who don't. He ain't oh, tripping. He ain't too much tripping on it. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So it's, I'm glad you said that on that big extra plug, uh, 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 
that Texas song. That was a huge song for him. Do you think was was that a great move to do that song? Like, like it was dope for him, but was it a breakout moment? Because everybody looking for that's on me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody mm-hmm. looking for. Uh, ice cream paint job You know what I'm saying You guys are These are platinum songs You know what I'm saying But I think that's one of Big X's biggest songs What the Texas Yeah and, you, and what's the question I'm just asking Should it Do you think It would have been bigger If it wouldn't have just been Isolated to just I mean about well, Texas? you don't know What song gonna do what So he probably just Making music Just to put it out But then that song Actually got him I seen sh- Like the Rangers Oh yeah that, that Rangers Would, would be So it like Put it like this that song may not be for the streets or for uh, uh, other shit, but it's for for who it's for. Texas. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The, the 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 like I say, the NBA, the uh, the NFL, the sports. Shit, you get what I'm yeah. saying? So Cowboy. yeah, the Cowboy. It, it's, it's gonna play forever. It's gonna play. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Cause regardless, he didn't know what he was doing probably, but he just making music. So right. it, that's the smart thing to do. Like just making music because you really don't know what this mm-hmm. gonna do. We can't tell you. We can't tell you what's gonna be the next thing. You did that Pimp C, you know, when you you know, that's my biggest, I'm... Swear to God, I'm never minding you hoes. Pimp C, real good, get down on the floor. Flow, baby, baby, grind on the floor. You know already, look at that. <laughs> I will cut a n- in half oh, about him. Oh, he like him? Oh, I will cut a n- in half about him. I don't care what you say, it's Pimp every day. Chad on my back. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Chad that's all. Like, 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 when you did that, how big was that for you and Bun being on the video and just how y'all doing your thing? Uh, I mean, like you know, I always gonna pay him. Me, I'm the type of dude that pay him to everybody that I grew up listening to, and me and Bone, we got like a real live relationship. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, we talk sports and just regular shit every other day. I'm talking about this uh, text each other memes, talking about each other, or talking about uh, our football team. Like, we just on some regular. Shit, so I just be feeling like that be dope. Like, I, I I'm able to have a relationship with that I actually grew up on listening to. You That's know what hard, I'm ain't it? Like one of and like I said the other day in one of the video is 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 even more raw when these niggas, everything you think that they are you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. sometimes you meet mother, you be disappointed like man this is not really who I thought been he there. was I've been, been there I've been there I'm saying it upset there. you because you didn't put in so much so many your part taking up for these <laughs> or just jamming on me or, or you feeling like y'all I like type shit, and you meet them you be like mm-hmm. but like I ain't gonna lie it's a lot of them that I met that's actually like them like I don't expect the to be gangsta all his life, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas pushing 50, 40, and all that. Man, hey, man, you got, you know what I'm saying? These <laughs> live that already. Like when, when I get, when you get to a certain age, it's time and place for everything. So I'm not expecting you just be walking around and macho out. Man, just be a civilized person, be a genuine. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what I respect from them. You know, who what I'm have you met that um is came out actually better than what you thought they was gonna be? Better. Oh. Uh, Better, better, better. It was actually, it was I dope. ain't gonna lie, it was dope, like, huh? like yeah. then, like Chris Brown, mm. Wayne, and I and I say that because the caliber of artists they are. When you get when you we talking about like Chris Brown, like the modern day Michael Jackson, Wayne, the goat, greatest of all time. When you get around these, you know, like you don't know what to expect. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what to expect. You think. It's gonna be like super duper arrogant. You gonna think right. like you know you don't you not you walk into the room like down there like damn is niggas gonna accept the or how they feel about it? But when you walk in the room, they embracing you, making you feel comfortable. So it's like you able to open up and just be regular. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. even juvenile too. Like a lot of niggas I met, they like I say, I'm glad that they are who they are type. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, them niggas like wreck like they who they they who they is, and when they get in the pub, they know how to turn it on. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.